Hey guys, so today we are doing a, or I guess I am doing, a first impressions demo, um, like a sort of mini review of the new 100% Pure Green Tea Fiber Brow Builder product. These are pretty new to 100% Pure and I received these um, this last week or the week before, I can't really remember. And there are two different shades right now. I don't know if they're going to be making any more, um, when those might come out if they are. There's medium brown and soft brown. So I thought that I would do a first impressions because I've never used a product like this. I know that there are a couple sort of like conventional brow products on the market and then there's that glossier, glossier boy brow something or other that I know, um, a few people have talked about, but these are my first experience with sort of like a fiber brow product. What I'm using right now and what's worked for me for a long time is Silk Naturals um, Brow Cream in medium brown. So I'm hoping maybe this, the, soft, the soft brown might end up working the best for me, I think, based on the, the two colors that are on this top here. But I'm hoping one of these works for me because it's actually, um, I don't, I mean, I don't need a lot of brow product. I'm not wearing anything right now. Mostly where my issue is is sort of like in the front here where it's like a little bit sparse, but it's not like too bad. So I like to just fill in sort of like the really sparse areas just a little bit. I don't like a dramatic brow look. I don't, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on my brows. So it would actually be really nice, a product like this, um, if this ended up working for me and I liked the way it looked and, you know, worked and stuff like that. And then, you know, just just go through my brows and, you know, because I don't change the shape of them or anything. All I do is just fill in, you know, the little holes. So... Um, like I said, there's two different colors, soft brown and medium brown. Um, medium brown is probably going to be way too dark, but I'm going to try it on one of my eyebrows anyway. And then I brought some makeup wipes in here to uh, take it off. Um, take off whichever one is not the correct color, and then I can put on the, <laughs> the correct color. Or if I put on soft brown and uh, I see it working pretty well, then... Um, maybe I won't do medium brown. So they come in these little containers like this. And um, here's the little wand on it. It's a very tiny, very tiny little wand. So this one's medium brown. So let's actually start with soft brown. And I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, so these are 100% vegan and they're gluten-free. Um, this formula is designed to be flexible, hold, and natural sculpted definition. And it gives the appearance of fuller, thicker brows without being stiff or sticky. Um, these are $22 on the 100% Pure website. I'll have them linked down below. And I actually, I mean, like all the other 100% Pure makeup, I really like the ingredients. Um, green tea, uh, vitamin E, candelia wax, rice bran, coconut acid, more green tea, pro-vitamin B5, seaweed, cocoa butter, maracuja seed oil, calendula, rice powder, cocoa powder, coffee bean, oregano, thyme, rosemary, lavender, maracuja again, um... Then the Japanese honeysuckle is the preservative and then glycerin and some iron dioxides for, uh, for color. So I like the ingredients. The ingredients are really nice. So we're going to start with soft brown and we're just going to, so here's a little wand again. And, uh, we're just gonna, just gonna try this out and see what happens. And I didn't bring any other sort of like brow brushes in here, so hopefully this doesn't turn into a disaster. I do see, I mean, it, it's definitely filling in where my sparse areas sort of are. I don't want to overdo it. So there we go. So there is my brow. It definitely looks like huge. <laughs> oh, it looks huge. At least compared to the other one anyway. So you know what? I'm not even going to do medium brown because I know that it's going to be way too dark. So I'm just going to do soft brown again on the other side and um, even them out. Cause yeah, see, look at how much sparser this one is in the front. This one, it definitely fills it in like a lot. It looks kind of bushy, but hopefully that's, it will look similar on the other side once I'm done.
All right, what do we think? Looks like it, it filled in this side more. I don't know if it's just because it's like more sparse down here, so it's like harder to get this area. I do feel like it did a pretty good job, actually. I mean, there's I need to like sort of mess around with it and sort of like perfect it, and maybe use a little bit of brush to get the sort of, sort of harder to get area down here without getting it like all over my eyes or whatever. But I mean. It, it is this one is still drying so it looks a little bit different than this side right now and it doesn't feel you know like really weird it's a little bit it's a little bit like sort of like stiff and crunchy but it's not like terrible so I'm sort of waiting for like this other side to dry so I can like see what they look like <laughs> this is the 100% pure brow fiber mascara in medium brown this is soft brown and then this was the silk naturals brow cream in medium brown so the soft brown is definitely a little bit ashier and this medium brown is like warmer. But even though it swatches a little bit ashier, I do feel like it works it decently well with um, my skin tone. You can sort of tell it's a little bit ashier, but it's not, I don't think it's that, like that bad. So here's, this is dry now. So you can see, so let's zoom out. So here's zoomed out. I mean, overall I do actually, I really like it. I think it, you know, the color matches decently well. This is soft brown again, not medium brown. Medium brown would have been um, a lot darker. So I think, for like black hair or like really dark brown hair, medium brown will definitely work a lot better. Or if you like a really dark brown, dark brown look. Um, but I think it works decently well. It was pretty quick. I think I like it. The application was pretty easy. Um, it dried down, looks pretty natural. At least I think it does. Fills in the areas where the brow is a little bit sparser, but it doesn't make them look, you know, like overdone. I'm not changing the shape at all. I, you know, I think I really like the, I think I like the uh, green tea brow fiber mascara product from 100% Pure. I think it works really well, actually. I don't think it's too off as a met, as a color match, at least for my hair. I mean, my hair is a couple of different colors, like naturally. It's like sort of like darker underneath and then it's got like lighter on the top. So I think it works. I think it works well. So as a first impression, I really like it. I think it works like I've said now, like four times, I think it works well, the color at least. Um, there are only two colors, so that is sort of like a downside if you sort of fall outside of these colors, if you have any, like a lighter brow color, or if you have like a really dark one that um, medium brown is not dark enough for. But I don't know, I think these are, I think this would be pretty universal. I mean, it's sort of almost like a taupe. Like the soft brown is more like a taupey shade. Um, it's like a cool, sort of like ashy taupe color, which I think would be pretty universal. And the, the medium brown I think would work well for a lot of darker, a lot of darker hair, hair colors. And yeah, now that the sun is sort of hitting it a little bit more, I mean, it looks, it looks really natural to me. I really like it. I'm excited to keep using it. I'm excited to, uh, you know, wear it and test it and see how it really does. But these were my first impressions of the new 100% pure green tea fiber brow mascara products. Green Tea Fiber Brow Builder. <laughs> um, I really like it. I will leave the links down below for you to check them out if you're interested. Um, if you're looking for like a clean alternative to those fiber brow products, which again, I've never tried, so I can't really compare it to those. Um, I think it's a good option. I mean, I like it. I've never tried this kind of product before. I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't know. It just, it looks pretty natural to me. Like once it's dried down, I really like it. So I'm excited to keep using this and... Uh, Probably keep it in rotation, you know, every once in a while I'll use my Silk Naturals, every once in a while I'll use this. I'm excited to just have another brow product that works for me in my life. I mean, you know, like a year and a half ago I wasn't even doing my brows, but um, as the like front part of my brows started getting a lot more sparse, I was like, I gotta find something because it looks a little like I'm balding in my eyeball, my eyebrows, but um, I like it. I think it looks good. It looks good on camera at least, and I keep looking in the mirror and it looks good in the mirror. doesn't look, you know, fake or any of that. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or anything about the product itself, um, just let me know. Let me know if you've tried it, what you think, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.